Hello, everybody. It's me, Bigfoot Michigan Rob. How are you? This is Sunday, July 31st. Before I start, thank you to everybody that's been helping support my channel. I'm now 80 away from 1,000, and I owe you guys out there in YouTube land for helping me out. Please share my content, Bigfoot Michigan Rob. With that being said, we're going to tell a story that happened along the Mississippi River. I hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty good, pretty good. While fishing from the banks of the Mississippi in southern Missouri, I came across a bank of soft ground. Not quite like sand, but not quite made of clay. Yet firm enough to set my three rod holders, fishing poles, firmly into the ground, spaced perhaps six to eight feet apart. I noticed that my boots, while I walked the river's edge, left a firm impression into the ground. There was an assorted allotment of all types of animal tracks, ranging from small rodents, deer, and birds. Upon placement of my rods, set up with an assortment of tackle ranging from night crawlers, minnows, and chubs, I kind of jerry-rigged an oversized crappie rig with a approximately one and a half, two ounce sinker on the bottom. Just enough weight to keep my bait just off the mighty Mississippi's bottom floor. This part of the river had a rather subdued current compared to other sections that I'd fished. Atop two of my three poles, I placed a bell, rigged to go off when I had a bite. Normally, I do not set up my gear like this, but I wanted to explore these tracks but not lose a fish. I want my cake and eat it too, I suppose. Upon completion of my setup, I went walking down the river bank. As I stated earlier, all sorts of wildlife tracks were implanted into the ground beneath my feet. Then, I came across a set of tracks that paralleled the river's edge that went on for about 10 yards. These were prints that I had never seen before. In fact, these were footprints. Yes, they appeared to be oversized feet. Now in the distance, one of the bells on my fishing pole started ringing, and I, had, and I had hurried over to go land my fish. It was a nice five-pound smallmouth bass that put up a nice fight, and I hoped that this would be the beginning of a nice run. After resetting my fishing line, I went into my tackle box and pulled out a tape measure to go back and measure these footprints. The first print I measured was the most clear, it, to my amazement, was 17 inches long and a width of about 6.5 to 7 inches. The print was also showed five very distinct toes. I am thinking aloud, what or who can this be? Upon further investigation, I noticed that the print had a gate between the steps that was easily 4 to 5 feet apart, which seemed to cover this 10-yard distance in maybe 3 or 4 strides. Another thing that I found peculiar, as I mentioned, the tracks paralleled the river. Then they stopped. Now the prince turned toward the river, as if the person, or whatever it was, walked directly into the, walked directly into the mighty Mississippi. I do not know what this was. I heard many stories of Bigfoot in my life and do believe they exist. Did I find Bigfoot tracks? I think probably so. I've gone back to the spot several times since, but have not hit, but not again have seen any more prints or anything of that nature. Yes, I'm kind of disappointed, but it begs the question, why did it walk straight into the river? I suppose to fish. One thing is for sure, I am sure glad that he did not get on my fishing pole. Now that would be quite a fishing uh, to spin. Signed TJ from Missouri. That was kind of a short one. That was a pretty cool one. A lot of nice data there. Possible Bigfoot walking along the river's edge. All of a sudden it turns, walks right into the Mississippi River. I'm guessing to fish, but who knows? Who knows? Too bad that uh, this gentleman didn't get any uh, find any more tracks. I don't know if he's a researcher or, or anything of that nature, but I thought it was a great uh, tale from 
TJ, I hope you enjoyed it. It's Sunday. I got to do some yard work. Bigfoot, Michigan. Rob, I appreciate you all. Hope you enjoy this. Subscribe, share, like, you know, do what you got to do. Have a great day. Thanks.